In today's video, this is part two of how to get clients. I'm gonna share some amazing value, some amazing strategies. So if you stay with me, we're gonna have some fun today. And I promise it's gonna be worth your time. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and roll right into it. So the reason why I do these YouTube videos is all about adding value to my subscribers. That's what I think about every single day. Each video that I do is what can I do to solve the people that are watching my videos problems? And that's the key. And the reason why I'm doing this series is a lot of people in these uncertain times, uncertain times, are trying to figure out how to get clients. And it can be hard, especially when we're locked in our houses. It's not like you can go walk from business to business. So today I'm sharing with you some strategies, some tools, and some tips that I use that I've been using for years to help me get more business. So later in this video, if you stick with me, I'm actually gonna give you guys a gift. And I'm also gonna give you guys free access. And those are just two of the three ways today that I'm gonna show you how to build upfront value. Now upfront value is very, very important because you are giving something away and not expecting anything in return. And I think that's very important is if you don't expect anything in return, then you won't be disappointed. And whatever the outcome is, whether it's negative feedback, positive feedback, you can learn and you can grow from that. So by creating these YouTube videos, even though I'm not monetizing these and making money of the, on these, I know that I'm gaining valuable information, knowledge, relationships, and skills. And so offering upfront value to you guys in this video, I'm actually gonna share three tips. And the first tip is a prospecting video. If you wanna provide upfront value to people and actually build relationships, then you need to be able to introduce yourself to people and offer them value upfront. And the way you can do that, whether it's going onto Thumbtack or going online or going uh, on Facebook and finding businesses through Facebook pages, you can actually create what I call a prospecting video. And you're gonna see in the video that we're gonna put in here in just a minute of what I do throughout here, but it's very important that you have some context. In these videos, you wanna introduce yourself, build credibility, and talk about what you do, but the video is not about you, it's about them. So you need to keep that very, very short. Say your name, what you're passionate about, and the reason why you're doing this video within the first 30 seconds, it's really important. And then you wanna to try to find some common ground. Say, hey, I go into your business all the time. You have the best seasoning there of any pizza place I've ever been to, like you'll see in this video, or whatever the business is. You have a specific wine that nobody else carries. Find something that that business owner is gonna recognize and know this guy isn't fooling around. He's actually telling me the truth. He's been to my business before. And so now you're gonna build common ground. They're gonna see you as a customer and those walls are gonna start to come down a little bit. And then from there, just say, hey, look, I just noticed some things as a graphic design expert or as a web design expert or as a marketing expert or as a content writer, just some things that you could do to really improve your website or to improve your business or to improve your Facebook page, whatever it is that you do, Use your expertise and your talents to provide them value. Say, hey, I think you've done a great job so far, but if you just did these few things, it could really, really help you. So really providing some advice and some tips like I'm doing in this video today is really gonna help provide that value, things that they can apply to their business to help them grow. That's what all business owners wanna do, right? They wanna grow. So providing that value. And then at the end, you wanna make sure that you have some sort of offer. Hey, I'd love to chat with you more about this. I think there are some other things that we could talk about that could really help you. If you wanna chat for 15 minutes, great. If you found value in this video and give me some of your time, I'd greatly appreciate it. So we're gonna go ahead and roll into that video so you can see a real life example. So without further ado, let's go. Hey Mike, my name is Adrian Boysell. Uh, you don't know me, maybe if you saw me you'd know my face, but I'm a regular customer there at your place and I just wanted to say I love your pizza man. You do an incredibly great job at what you do there and I am just uh, wanted to make a quick video to point a few things out just as a really happy customer and someone that uh, just loves doing this. So I'm a digital marketing strategist and coach. I noticed that you joined the Roseville Chamber of Commerce just recently and thought that was awesome because I'm also a member as well. Uh, I joined about seven months ago, so I just want to congratulate you on that and then just give you a few tips on your website. So um, I'm going to keep this really short. The first thing I noticed is that there's a lot going on here in what they call the hero shot. And for as amazing as your pizza is, we're not, it's not really coming across. Like this picture doesn't really bring it justice. The other photos are really not giving your pizza justice. This is a little bit better, but we could just really do a lot more there. Um, I think that would be really, really helpful. Um, the second thing I noticed is you have a lot of great content on there, which is awesome. Um, but the website isn't mobile responsive. It's mobile friendly, but not mobile responsive. And when I looked at it on the mobile version through Google's tool right here, you can see this screenshot. It just doesn't look 
as great as it could and it should. You got the word trademark up here with your logo, which is a cool logo, by the way. And then you have trademark pizza again. It's just really redundant and there's not really a strong call to action to get people to order online. And you have the type of location where people could really be, you could really be increasing those online orders significantly. So just something I thought I would extend out to you as well. And then if you're just gonna look at some of the search engine stuff, I was gonna show you just a couple things here. This is my specialty. Um, let's see here, you're missing this robots.txt file and then your title tag, or was it at here? Trademark, Roseville California Pizza Restaurant. This needs to be in here as well in your H1, so Roseville, California Pizza Restaurant. So I think that would be really, really helpful to add that in there and just be able to increase your search engine rankings. So there's just a couple user experience things. Um, the text up here with multiple phone numbers, just it gets a little bit confusing, I think. It's hard for people to follow. So I would just really recommend maybe making some adjustments to that. But overall, I love the color scheme. I love your branding. Everything about the site is cool. I think the photos could be enhanced, but um, overall, I think you have a really great site. And I just think you could probably get a lot more business from your website if you put a little bit more into it. So I'm not necessarily trying to sell you on that. I don't want to sell you anything. I just wanted to help you out and give you some tips that you can pass along to your web developer. So if you'd like to chat and talk business, I could set aside um, some, some time to talk with you. Just give me a call, 916-905-0551. 916-905-0551. Thank you so much for taking the time. Keep doing what you're doing. Great work and God bless. All right, so as you can see in that prospecting video, it was all about congratulating him on the business that he had, how successful it had been, and just saying, hey, you don't have a bad website, but there is opportunity for growth. The worst thing you can do in a prospecting video is to put the business owner down, like your website's terrible. And he's like, great, I built it myself, right? You wanna actually congratulate them on the wins that they do have. Find things that are positive first before you hit them. They call it a criticism sandwich. You do a positive thing, then you give your criticism, criticisms and then you finish it with another positive. It's very important to reach and approach things like that so that you can sandwich the criticisms in between two positives and it takes less of a blow for the person. And then at the end of that video, I just said, hey, if you wanna spend some time getting to know each other or talking more about this, I'd love to chat with you. Here's my number. I made an offer. It was very non, there's no obligation, no push. I'm not selling you anything. I just wanted to make an offer. So that's one way to do it. Now, if you're going after some bigger businesses, what they can tend to have is, is basically gatekeepers. And the way you provide value to gatekeepers is by number two, and that is giving a gift. It could be a Starbucks gift card. It could be an Amazon gift card. If it's a, if it's a transportation company, it could be a gas gift card. Whatever it is, you can provide them a gift to the gatekeeper and to the business owner. You call up, you make a friend with the gatekeeper, say, hey, I just want to give this to you. You can send it in the mail. I just want to make sure you got my gift card I sent to you. Offering gifts or gift cards, like I'm going to do for you guys in this video is offering a gift, is a really great way to build the relationship, to get the walls to come down, because everybody's guarded nowadays, especially with what's going on, and to get those walls to come down, and you actually to build a relationship with the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper is what's going to stop you from being able to reach the decision maker. So you got to make friends. you got to value the gatekeeper. You're going to provide value to the gatekeeper. You got to value the gatekeeper and you got to help the gatekeeper. What can she take to her boss that's going to make her look good? It's going to make her feel good. And it's going to make her business and her job, give her more job security. That's what's most important, right? So if you can find things that can provide those values and you truly believe in your services of what you're offering, say, Hey, I have an opportunity. All I'm asking for is for 15 minutes of your boss's time to just explain what I have, or at least maybe 15 minutes of your time so I can explain it to you and you can go tell your boss and you can be the hero, right? It's not about me being the hero here. I just want to help you guys. That's my genuine heart. So if you approach things like that and you give gifts, you're going to be able to get those walls to come down and you're going to have a much easier chance of getting clients. Now, my offer to you guys, since you've been with me for this whole video so far, is I actually have a course coming out. And as part of that course, I'm going to give out a free tote bag. I wish I had one with me, but it's a really cool purple tote bag that has the Instagraphics logo on it with some straps. And I'm just going to give you guys one of those. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to subscribe and drop your name in a comment or just say hello in a comment. Let's just say, quote Instagraphics. Put Instagraphics in a comment and anybody that does that, I'm going to give you one of our free tote bags. So whether a thousand people or 5,000 people, however many people comment on this video, I'm going to give you guys a free tote bag. And then the third part and the third way to attract clients is offering a free trial or free access to something. So on a free trial, you can say, hey, I'm going to send you leads for seven days. And for those seven days, 
You're gonna get all the business I could possibly send your way. I'm not asking you for anything in return. Seriously, I want nothing. I'm doing market research, I'm doing some studies, and I just wanna get some critical feedback that'll help me improve my processes, improve my systems. If I send you this business for seven days, I'm gonna call you, and if you're not excited and ready to take my call, there's probably something going on, something didn't work right, and I wanna figure out what that is, but I'm gonna, all I'm asking you for right now is just 15 minutes of your time to talk to you about that feedback, talk to you about the results that you got over those seven days. Those are ways that you can just start the conversation to get the relationship going and to offer value in return. Now, that might cost you some money, but if this customer is worth thousands of dollars a month, like a lot of my customers are, if it takes you 500 bucks to send somebody leads or to send somebody a set of business cards or to send somebody a logo design or whatever that is, you're gonna be able to build that relationship with them through that. So it's very important that you realize if you can do it for free by offering something that you already have, like a course or content, something like that, it's very cool. So what I'm gonna do for you guys as well is free access. I have an Instagraphics Academy course where I'm gonna have some tutorials and some trainings. I'm actually gonna give that away. So anybody that comments Instagraphics on this video below is gonna get the opportunity to get access to my course before anybody else. And all I'm gonna be looking for is feedback. I'm not asking you, telling you you have to give me feedback, but it would be very helpful to get feedback on that. So those are the three ways that you can offer value upfront. Do a prospecting video, introduce yourself, offer some advice, a criticism sandwich, some positives, some negatives, and some positives. And then you got the gifts, giving gift cards, any kind of gift, send lumpy mail, send a big yellow envelope with something cool in the mail that that business owner would like. I'm gonna be sending out business cards to engineers because I work with a lot of engineers. I'm gonna be sending them out the most beautiful business cards they've ever seen. Who do you think they're gonna call when they wanna get new business cards? Me, but I'm gonna offer those to them as a gift for free with no expectations on the back end. So that's number two, and then three is free access. If you can get that free access or a free trial to somebody and let them try out your services for no obligation, that makes it easy as well. So I hope this was helpful. I know there was a ton of information in here and I'm hoping that brought you guys a ton of value. That's always my goal. Comment Instagraphics and you hit the subscribe button on this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep looking up.